Hi, good morning all. So uh, let's now move on to LinkedIn uh, ads. Uh, in a, in a previous uh, previous uh, lesson, we saw how link LinkedIn as a platform works, right? Uh, we saw uh, the interface, so to say. Now it's time for us to do some LinkedIn uh, ads practically. Okay. So without uh, too much of time uh, here, uh, let 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 us jump into my LinkedIn ad account, so to say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let me bring this down. Okay. Now this is my LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn profile, right? And all I need to do right now is click on this advertise icon. Okay. And then what happens? I come to this. Okay. And these are my different uh, ad accounts that I have. I often do. Uh, ads for my clients and uh, this is my personal ad account and this is where I'm going to click okay okay now uh, as far as uh, creating an ad account is concerned is very easy uh, just like uh, creating an ad account uh, uh, in any other platforms like Google Ads Facebook Ads nothing you just have to add your payment details along with your uh, name the account name uh, that's it my account name is this one right and then uh, this is the account id that is generated automatically and uh, before that you just need to you know add your payment details your credit card uh, whatever and uh, yeah after that it becomes active and you're good to go okay so nothing much into that uh, so yeah so this is my ad account that i'm going to use now okay and i click on this so as i click on this that uh, so this is where i come okay and uh, what I do is I click on this create and then I go to this campaign. So basically I'm going to do a campaign so this is where I'm clicking. Okay. Okay. So first we need to select our objective. What is this campaign all about? So just like in Twitter ads and Facebook ads, we have exactly the same uh, columns, right? Awareness, consideration, and conversions. I mean, uh, it is so similar in nature, you know, when it comes to this uh, categorization here. Uh, so, under awareness, you'll see that this is brand awareness, wherein you want more people to learn about a business. This is more of a brand, right? This is about telling people about a product, services, company, you know, or if you have a LinkedIn event. So, this is more of a branding exercise, wherein, if, for example, uh, if your uh, a business is new you want people to know more about you about your product your services then this is ideally where you start off uh, you know uh, as a branding exercise letting people know more about you your business and your product, products and services right uh, then comes consideration wherein uh, you, you you're moving on the next step wherein you want uh, unless you've got different options like website visits where you want people to visit your website destination uh, right. Uh, basically, it's about driving traffic to your website, uh, driving traffic to your landing pages, uh, or if you have gone in a LinkedIn event, right? And basically, uh, this is more about uh, letting people click on your ad and uh, doing doing some action on your website. When I'm meaning my actions, uh, basically visiting your websites. Basically, you are uh, uh, you want the traffic to go to your website. Right. Engagement. Uh, so, engagement is uh, wherein you want people to engage more with your content, right? Uh, so, it could be uh, so your objective could include social engagement with your content or LinkedIn event. Uh, if you want to, to have more followers on your company page, so this is uh, which you uh, uh, which uh, this is where you you're going to click. Uh, so your company page is still new. You want more followers. So obviously, you want more followers. Then only you know you will have uh, uh, more action around your uh, uh, around your content. So so this is where you you know uh, drive your campaign, wherein you want uh, to increase your follower base to your company page. Video views is somewhere you want, uh, wherein you want more people to watch your videos. Uh, so sharing videos with other people, and uh, you know, uh, so this is more about video views basically. It's about videos. 
Then comes conversions. Now it is you got lead generation wherein you want quality leads on LinkedIn. Uh, so basically you're capturing link, uh, leads on LinkedIn and you've got a form which is a pre-filled uh, form and uh, you use um, uh, this form you know to capture data of uh, the people coming into uh, and filling up the form and you can integrate this uh, with a lead management platform in LinkedIn as well right uh, so basically it's about lead generation uh, in terms of pre-filled uh, lead generation form wherein you are capturing the data of people uh, who are interested in knowing more about you Website conversions is basically you, wherein uh, uh, you want uh, more purchases, registrations, or downloads. If you've got uh, an e-commerce website, so you want uh, more conversion in terms of purchases, purchases, or if you've got some registration forms, you want uh, people to uh, you want uh, people to register. And if so, basically you define what a conversion means uh, means to you, right? Where it could be it could be purchase, it could be registrations, it could be downloads. And uh, once you define what conversion means to you, and according to that, uh, you know you uh, set your expectations uh, uh, for, for your ad uh, to LinkedIn, right? And that's how you uh, do and get your conversions. Correct. Job applicants. Uh, this is about okay. Now this is all. Uh, LinkedIn is also, uh, of course, about uh, jobs, right? If you want to promote job opportunities at a company, so this is where you click. You know in terms of uh, job applicants and uh, basically you let people know about the relevant job opportunity at your company right so these are the different options that you have uh, so what we'll do right now is that we will uh, choose website conversion as our objective okay so click on this Now first, what I need to do is, uh, this is fine, okay, this is coming as an auto-generated uh, campaign name, which is fine with me, I'm just uh, doing this as a practical, so let, let me put this as website conversions, October 20, 2021, and you can just edit and change it accordingly if you want, right, for me it's fine. So what does it say? Your, your, uh, so this website conversion is about the campaign being shown to people. Most likely, to take valuable action you define on your website. Okay. Uh, so and then of course we have a conversion tracking, which must must, must be enabled for this objective. Okay. Now audience. If I've got a saved audience, I can use that. Uh, currently, I don't have any saved audience. You can first basically you know uh, create an audience and save it, and then accordingly you can choose it. I don't have any uh, audience uh, as of now, uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, no. for me India is fine and, uh, and I'm going to target India. Okay, now uh, my uh, uh, company page is about tennis, tennis for India, it's about promotion of tennis in terms of the, uh, in terms of different academies that we have. In India, in terms of different tennis coaches, you know, whom you want to know more about, uh, you know, wherein you want to enroll, uh, maybe your, uh, uh, enroll, maybe somebody enrolling the kids or your known uh, people to any of the, uh, you know, top tennis coach, coaches in India, or if you want to enroll somebody uh, or you want to know more about the uh, top tennis academies in India, or if you want to know more about uh, college tennis scholarship. You know abroad so my tennis uh, my page is all about that right so I want to promote basically about uh, knowing more about tennis okay now audience if you've got a list upload you can upload uh, you know uh, so basically uh, if you've got uh, your own list then you can just use that now look alike uh, will be uh, something which is uh, similar to what you have already uh, set your audience Retargeting is when uh, you are basically retargeting the audience, uh, people who have already uh, taken some uh, some action uh, before and then you want to retarget. So these are the different options that you have. Now audience attributes, if you see, I can uh, go by company, you know. Uh, so if I want to target any specific companies, uh, so find membership based on company list on the LinkedIn profile. Demographic is wherein I reach members based on your inferred age or gender so for example if i want to target only male or female or 
a set age group. So this I can target. Education is where if I want to target somebody who is doing marketing uh, uh, or uh, somebody who is who has just done, done his masters like that, I can target. Job experience is again, uh, depending on a job experience, skills or years experience, interest. Uh, reach members targeting on a direct inferred interest trades or professional groups. Now, interest is something that will, uh, now all these things doesn't matter to me much. Company demographic, demographic education, job experience, but interest is something that really does. So I'll just click on his interest and see what all we have. Okay, uh, oh sorry, I don't have members here, so I what I will straight away do is um, all right. Uh, it's not showing. Um, so in my case, it will be a little bit difficult to have this kind of uh, audience. So what I'll do basically is I'll have to search in a different manner. <coughs> So what I'll do is that here I'll straight away search for my uh, for my audience. So I'll write, type tennis tennis coach. It's fine. Then tennis instructor, tennis professionals. Okay. Then. Uh, Diver of tennis, you know, so these are some of the uh, Indian tennis, I'm not sure if it will come, yeah, it's not coming, uh, okay, very importantly, college tennis, college tennis is about tennis scholarship, okay, it doesn't have, tennis universities, it might come, tennis universities, Tennis scholarship. Okay, it's it's very narrow, and in, in my case, it's very narrow. Uh, okay. So what will happen is that uh, now, in my case, it's quite narrow because uh, the audience will be narrow because it's about tennis. Uh, but when you're doing your own set of ads, when you uh, were in you're targeting something like education institutes or something like that. Uh, it'll be a more of a uh, wider view uh, in terms of audience. So that's when you will have more option to uh, upload. Of course, location I didn't select. I'm so sorry. So I select uh, India, okay. and uh, yeah, so I select India. Then as I come down, uh, single image. Okay, now in this I'm going to select single image ad. Okay, you got uh, the option of selecting 
how you want to do your ad. It could be single image, carousel image, video ad, text ad, spotlight ad, message ad, and conversion ad. In my case, I'll be using single ad. Okay. Daily budget is sounding very important. Uh, I did. Uh, generally, what happens? Daily budget is at least 500 rupees per uh, per day in terms of LinkedIn. So now, just let me check if they have changed. If I put 400 as my daily budget. And suppose if I do it on for one day, so just let, let let us check what they will say. Uh, start date is this one. Yeah, see, it's already it's saying daily budget needs to be at least 500 rupees. So LinkedIn that way is costly. You know, uh, 500 rupees per day you have to spend uh, at least that's the minimum criteria. And uh, so start date one, one uh, then my end date will be. I just do it for one day. Anyway, it's for practicals, right? So I'm going to spend 500 rupees basically. 500 rupees I'm doing it for one day, right? Bidding strategy uh, automated. I'll uh, select maximum uh, delivery. Okay. Now wherein I'll get most results uh, possible using my full budget, which is 500 rupees. If I do manual bidding. I get the most results possible with your bid if I, and then I'll just set a manual uh, bidding which I will not do right now. So basically it's for uh, here I can select if it's uh, 40 rupees per landing page clicks, whatever you know. Uh, but again they're saying it has to be between 183 rupees to 424. So I have to make at least make it 200 rupees. So 200 rupees per landing page click. Which I don't want to do. I basically want uh, Facebook to use its own intelligence and give me the best possible results, right? Okay. Now conversion tracking. Now, like I said, uh, I will define what conversion means to uh, to me. Uh, I'll define it to LinkedIn. Uh, so in this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new conversion. Okay. All I need to do right now is create a new uh, conversion. And uh, for me, conversion is really something wherein I want people to land on this page, which is one of the important pages for me. I don't have a thank you page, so I'll just see which uh, is the best possible page for me, wherein I want people to basically land. So that means that is a conversion for me. Okay. So in this case, what I'll do is that I want people to land on this this page. So all I need to do right now is. Okay, uh, say I want people to land on, uh, on one of my posts. Okay, suppose I want people to land on this, on this, uh, not post, on this article. Okay, yeah, article or post. And then what I do is I basically click on this. Um, so I just put this as Gayatri Vartak. My own reference. This is my conversion. Okay, this is my conversion. And we are setting select type by section. For me, just other. I don't have any download, nothing. So if I want, I can put uh, a conversion action, uh, conversion. Um, uh, you know, and, and how much conversion is worth for me for this? Uh, that depends uh, if you want. It's an optional thing. And uh, I can set the window basically. So, window means uh, set the window of time of someone clicks or views your ad or the conversion will count it. So, it could be say 30 days and 7 days views. Uh, so I want it to be more recent. Okay, I can put a 7 days and 7, uh, uh, seven days clicks and 7 days views. Okay. And uh, how would I want? Okay, now what you, uh, what I can do is that uh, I I can put a track on my conversion for your action to work. Your insight tag or even pixel will be needed to properly install on your website. If you haven't already done so, for our instruction here to finish your uh, insight tag setup. So here I have to uh, you know put an event pixel or uh, or an insight tag. Okay, so. Track activity on specific page you are using your existing insight tag or individual conversion events using JavaScript. 
Now, if I want to put an event uh, pixel, then what I need to do is Okay, uh, so now uh, before that, I need to install a tag, okay, from a conversion to work, um, which I have not done. Okay, it's my new account, so uh, I'll practically now show you as to uh, how it can be done basically. So there are two options either I install an inside tag, which is recommended, or an event specific pixel. Now, this is an event that uh, for me, this is the event, right? Uh, which one? Sorry, I had to put a guide three but uh, interview, right? So this is my event but, uh, interview, right? So this is my event, right? For me, this is my event. So either I can uh, just select this for this event specific pixel for this event, correct? Or I can do I can do this wherein I don't do it uh, event wise. I can just put it uh, overall uh, side tag inside tag. Uh, which is recommended so i'll go with this now how to do this i'll just show it to you uh, now all i don't need to do is i can go to my uh, and i'll go to my campaign campaign manager okay and then i select which is my account this is my account i select this account okay and uh, what i need to do is i need to go to account settings and this is my inside tag So there are different ways where, where I can install. If I want to install it myself, I, will, I have to click on this. Okay, or if I want to send it to my developer, which you can of course do because you are a marketing person, you can uh, of course uh, let your developer do, do his job, you can do this. Or you can also use a tag manager. But here I want to tag it myself, so I'll just click on this. Okay, and there, this what I'll do is that I just need to copy this, copy this code, and then paste it at the back end of, of my website. Okay, uh, closing HTML body tag, uh, body tag. So if you remember, I had already shown how to install tags for our Google Ads, correct? And the Facebook Pixel also. I, I think I showed it to you. So the same way, you basically have to, you know, uh, do it at the back end of your website. But and if you're not comfortable doing this, you can just allow your developer to do it for you, which uh, which is a very easy job. For you. Okay. So this is how you install your inside tag. So once you install the inside tag, then your conversion tracking works. So basically, this is for the conversion tracking. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, then I come to here. Okay. So after you do this, after your conversion tracking works, so this is uh, when you can uh, do your conversion uh, conversion ad basically. Okay. So now for me, click let this window be seven days. Okay views okay and the page load conversion track i want this to be page load only let that, let it be like that and i had already copied this right so this is what i want people to do action upon and uh, i can just for me let me this equals this So this is where I want people to land and give me a conversion. For me, conversion in this case, just for an example, I don't have a add to basket order purchase, you know, uh, option. Here. So I'm just uh, showing this as a as a different form of conversion. Okay, and uh, so basically, it has to match this uh, this website, this URL, right? So for me, this is the conversion. Yeah. So uh, uh, no signal yet because I have not uh, installed it. Right. Uh, I just showed you as how to install it. So once you get that signal, uh, one uh, then your conversion will start working. Right. And then you just click on this because this is your conversion tracking. This is your conversion correct. And uh, then you do next, 
Okay, now there are two options. Either when you browse existing content means it will take any of the uh, company page posts that you already have and then you can uh, use any of the existing posts that you already have in your company page on LinkedIn uh, or you can create a new ad. Now in this case what I'll do is I'll create a new ad. Okay. This ad, uh, let this be guide. Introductory test. Now, Guy Vartak is one. Vartak is one of the most renowned sports uh, uh, psychologist. Uh, Introductory test will be know more about best sports psychologist. Anywhere. Know more about. Uh, Sports psychology, more know more about one of the best sports psychologists in India. Okay. Yeah. Destination URL is again this one. Right? Add image is where I have to. Okay, now I'll add an image. Okay, this image is again uh, I'm just using it uh, for a uh, you know as a reference, so I'll just use any of those uh, images that I already have. Uh, so let me put this, okay, even though I would have ideally wanted to have any some, something else in terms of the image, but uh, it's okay. You can use the best uh, possible image for yourself, right? Headline, sports psychology. Okay, mental conditioning, mental conditioning. successful area in sports mental conditioning means your mental strength how you condition your mind right so that's for mental conditioning okay description I just goes without saying need to have great mental attitude to do well in sports no wonder we have so many good sportsmen action for me will be learn more okay yeah so this is how to look in this desktop mobile feed this is how it's going to look okay 
and uh, this is the call to action learn more and to click here okay and uh, yeah this is your headline and if you want to see how it looks like yeah so these are the different fields so this is a preview basically you can see as how your ad will look like okay and then I create So this is my ad and I go to next okay now I can just launch the campaign which I I did not want to do because this is for practical otherwise my money will start going and I just need to click on his launch and the campaign will launch right uh, in my case the audience size is 1100 okay and uh, so this is how it is here on your left hand side you can again see the audience if you want this is my audience okay again uh, add format add format single image I have selected placement placement is this one okay budget is this one conversion tracking is this one okay I also showed you how how to uh, install the inside tag uh, for your conversion to work you have to install your inside tag at the back end of your website very easy just go to your campaign manager and then you go to assets okay under assets you'll have a drop down called inside the tag and then when you click on that uh, you like we give given different option either you can give it to a developer right you can easily put it at the back end of your website or wherever and or otherwise you can do it yourself also copy the code and paste it at the back end of your website if it's a wordpress website which is quite easy to handle uh, yourself as well yeah, so that's about LinkedIn ad. We saw the example of uh, conversions basically. We, uh, for us, the con uh, conversion ideally should be for purchase if it's an e commerce uh, site or uh, downloading any important content that you have. But in my case, I didn't have any option. So, as a demonstration, what I did was I selected a page wherein I wanted to uh, uh, let people visit that page basically, right? So in my website, I've got different pages, uh, but I selected one page which I want uh, uh, it to be the conversion, right? And my daily budget, I have selected was 500 rupees for one day. At least uh, it has to be 500 rupees per day. Otherwise, uh, you know, we'll not be able to do it for LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, that way, yes, it is, it is a big bit costly. 500 rupees per day, you have to shell out. Uh, yeah, that's the minimum. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So that's it. Um, so that's as far as LinkedIn ads go goes, uh, right? And uh, there are different options like you saw: uh, awareness, but then consideration, and, uh, and next is your conversion, right? Right. Uh, so that's about it. Um, hope you uh, had another good session. And uh, yeah, of course, like the saying goes, again, I would like to re iterate uh, that practice makes uh, a man perfect, and you'll have to practice. And uh, initially, you might find a bit tough. Uh, initially, like, like this, everything is tough. But as you progress, as you do more and more, uh, you'll find it uh, just another, just another, what do you say, uh, just another uh, piece of thing that you do in life. So it's about practice, um, but of course before practice you need to uh, ideate things, you need to think through as to what your campaign should be, uh, what is your campaign objective, and according to that you have to set your com campaign, and uh, yes, practice more and more, that's it, okay. So uh, thanks again, and uh, yeah, thank you again, uh, and uh, yeah, see you again, till then, bye, take care.